Yes, and welcome back to the 94 Club for your daily dose of country music. Hey, look, this week we've got some exciting artists coming up on the channel. I'm taking a look at some Home Free again. We're looking at Trampled by Turtles, Ryan Bingham, Tyler Childers is back, Colton Wall is back, Turnpike Troubadours are back, and we're going to look at, who else are we going to look at? Uh, the Hill Country Devil again as well. And just remember, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest videos. And hit that subscribe button and you'll become part of the community here and we'd love to have you as part of the 94 Club. Anyway, let's see what we've got today. The Hill Country Devil, Rats Get Fat. I have heard so much about this song, but I have not heard the song yet. So uh, really excited to get into it. I know it's one of his more popular ones. I know it's on gems on VHS and they constantly deliver good music. Uh, and this is going to be real. Like the last time I heard um, I heard Hill Country Devil, it got super uh, sort of like, it was a journey for me. It was things that I wasn't exposed to in my everyday life. and I, And... I think this is going to be very similar, so we're going to get straight in and we're going to see what we think. Cool, let's go. So how did you guys meet? We met because I met you. you invited me to come do a video with you in Nashville and you put a show together, which was me, Spitshine. Uh-huh. Why do you like Hayden? He's real. It's not a show. I ain't even surprised about this. We've got Benjamin Todd and Hill Country Devil, and it is real. It is absolutely real. Uh, he's not trying to be something that he's not. Better men have died for less. Rats get fat no matter where you've been. Then in tones of catacomb where sirens speak the tongue of broken men. They say your body is a credit card. Sell your ass, they're sure to get you well. And if they offer tainted points, bleach the ends out of crack upon your belt. And it wasn't all too long ago Crying out in a hospital gown With a bandage torn off from the chest And an oath to stick the landing coming down All the boarding house was an easy out But it's on help when the noise begins to tower Every second is a minute, every minute is another endless hour. This is how you write a song. This is how you make music. This is how you tell a message. This is absolutely unbelievable. Let's carry on. So Don't you bury me in San Antonio Now pacing in an apartment Gifted clothes hang tattered on and loose How deeply green the grass must be as it calls beyond the window of a noose. Hope oh, and cowardice is bearing teeth, a fit of shakes and wait before the sight. 
so I'll only kill a part of me across to buy some shelter for the night. And now morning comes with vengeance, taunted by a light growing wild. Bathing in the warmth she brings A kick to shut down weeping like a child So begin the false black clarity To summon strength to labor through the fight Just to thumb a stolen wallet And to stumble towards another in this night Swing low, Mother Misery, let the shackles go. The gift of ease before I die alone, and I know I'll die alone. Better men have died for less, but the rest get fat no matter where you am. Hmm. You guys play songs that uh, seem to hit people a little harder than a lot of people's songs. What do you think makes a good song? What I try to do when I write is perfectly convey a feeling that I, I think is pretty universal. And hopefully I do a good enough job that uh, people can connect with something inside themselves that helps them through, and it helps me to write them. So. What about you, Hayden? What makes a good song? Authenticity. <laughs> Honest storytelling, or yeah, conveying emotions that you've actually felt. I think uh, the songwriters and the people that are my heroes are the people that lived it. Mm. That's the only songs I know how to write or things I've experienced. Okay, so right at the end there, they said something incredibly real that felt incredibly real to me was and, and this is why I talk about music and this is why like I will speak on songs that that some I can relate to some like this I struggle to relate to but I just want to say that I fully get the feeling that come that is supposed to come across in this type of music because I feel it I felt desperation I felt struggle in different ways not as extreme as this but this helps me feel the extremity of the situation that he's gone through and uh, something that's just what, what I guess all I want to do is, is get across how I feel and, and, and maybe, you know, make some of you feel a certain way as well and, and, and make you sort of relate to, to how I feel. I know I'm talking in a bit of a circle, but I genuinely care about this music and there's the reason I'm doing this. Anyway. I am not for one second surprised that Benjamin Todd and um, the Hill Country Devil know each other. And I'm not surprised that they can they connect over this level uh, because they're absolutely fantastic. And when they talk about conveying a feeling, they do it perfectly. No, it's just, it's fantastic. We're gonna go through this song. I'm gonna try and do it quite quickly because there's a lot here. And I, it's just one of those songs that I just don't feel I can do justice to speaking about, but we'll give it a go. Better men have died for less. Better men have died for less. Rats get fat no matter where you've been. And I guess this rats get fat, is, is this a sense of greediness? Um, or is there something else in it? Is this a term that, that gets used quite a lot over there? Please do let me know. Um, um, and San Antonio's a catacomb where sirens speak the tongue of a broken man and this was just absolutely fantastic because the the idea that when somebody ends up in a place that they shouldn't be in or they end up doing things that they shouldn't be doing every time they get themselves into trouble you hear sirens because they're not in the nicest places in the world they're in they're in a place where police are going to frequent more than anywhere else uh and they're going to get up to no good and i think we're kind of talking about buying drugs and stuff here they say your body is a credit card sell your ass 
they're sure to get you well. And if they offer tainted points, just bleach the ends. Had a crack upon your belt. This is like, I think, obviously we're still talking about to get fat. That crack on, uh, crack on the belt is a nod to putting on weight. But it's also... Um, it's also a nod to like um, when you it's almost like a mark of experience I think you know like when you get an extra notch on a tree trunk uh, and an extra age that's what we're talking about here so incredibly powerful and then this and it wasn't all too long ago crying out in a hospital gown with the bandage torn off from the chest and an oath to stick the landing coming down so that coming down is like the, is coming down off of drugs I think that's where we're at with this um, and the imagery he's just painting is so powerful and like I say I'm just struggling to do it justice because I'm trying to find more clever ways to, to say what he's already said but I just I'm, he, he's nailed it the boarding house was an easy out um, so this is somewhere he stayed to try and get either better or or end up hooked back on uh, but it don't help when the noise begins to tower and every second is a minute and every minute is another endless hour. Like when you're in this pain and this hole, like this hell hole, it's just time passes much slower for him. Uh, swing low, sweet northern wind to guide my weary bones. Like he will just feel like home. Um, but don't let them bury me in. Don't let them bury me in San Antonio. Don't you bury me in San Antonio. Like maybe this is where the bad stuff has happened and he doesn't want to be laid to rest there. Pacing an apartment, gifted clothes, hang tattered, torn and loose. How deeply green the grass must be as it cools beyond the window of a noose. I feel like it's actually quite difficult to read as well. I mean, no. God knows how he managed to write this and, and sing it back. Um, so he doesn't own his own clothes and he's worn them till they've got till they've got tattered, ripped and all sorts. How deeply green the grass must be as it cools beyond so you can hear the wind through the grass. Um and this kind of reminds me of that, you know, that scene in um, in Gladiator when it carries his body and you can see him go like go through the tall grass. That's kind of what I'm picturing in my head uh, as it calls beyond the window of a noose. And you can just see that's the ultimate sort of struggle and the ultimate end. And it's almost a fucking suicide note. This is it's quite hard to read and listen to. And now cowardice is bearing teeth. Like they say cowardice because... I don't know, but people have said before it's a coward's way out, and I really don't think it is. I think it's the only option some people face. A fit of shakes in weight before the sight to only kill a part of me, the cost that buys some shelter for the night. I can't... I just can't do this justice. It's just an absolutely brilliant song. So I think what we're saying here is like to only kill a part of me. It's like I only kill my physical form because someone has been selling their, their body for money, which has got them a place to stay for the night. But also it doesn't kill who that person really is. It's just what you see. Like the idea and the spirit of them doesn't die. Now morning comes with vengeance, taunted by the light, now growing wild, bathing in the warmth she brings, a kick to shut down weeping like a child begin the false bought clarity the summon strength to labor through the fight just to thumb a stolen wallet and to stumble towards another endless night so i i get the feeling that he's tried to kill himself here and he hasn't achieved it someone's come in um and got a hold of him maybe resuscitated him and uh, she's keeping him warm. So he finds the strength to, to get through this attempted suicide. And he just ends up back in the same place again. Like he's stolen someone's wallet just to get 
get money in. Swing low, mother misery, let the shackles go. The gift of ease before I die alone, and I know I'll die alone. It's just so difficult to listen to, and the fact that people go through, and, and we spoke about it in this previous one, it's just an absolute vicious cycle that you can't get out of. And that's what I get when I hear his music. Like, I just get this 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 cycle that he's in. And all I can say is, like, as us, as human beings, we just have to do good for people when we can. You know, I think not everyone gets that. Some people are just out for themselves. But for us... There are people in this vicious cycle of struggle. So when we encounter someone who's in that cycle, all we've got to do is just block it and, and, and try and have a good impact on their lives to prevent them continuing. But some people are in such a spiral that they just can't get out of it. And then we finish at the beginning again. Better men have died for less. Raps get fat no matter where you've been. Like you'll all, people will always be distracted by the money and they'll always chase the dollar bill in order to get what makes them feel whole, whether that's for a minute or uh, a little longer. People are so focused on that short-term win, they're not focused on the journey and people don't realise that it's the journey. The journey is where the happiness is. There is no end point. There is no point when you sit there like I've made it. Like there's always time to get better and do better. People don't, people don't always realise that. But this was a fantastic song. So thank you for writing it. Thank you for recording it. Thank you for putting it out there. And thank you for recommending it. But anyway, I've spoken enough about this. As always, if you like the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Um, I need to start thinking. Anyway, thank you all. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Thank you. Peace. Cheers. Bye.